Hello everybody, it's me, Nikki from Seminary Studios. Today we are going to be looking at my speed build of Dingle Hopper Domicile. It is a structure that I built for Filet and Kenjo O'Fish for our Let's Play. Because you guys voted for us to build a new place. Because their old place is getting a little too small. And they might be struggling for room pretty soon. So here I am just building the outer structure. I'm fiddling around with boxes as you go. You know, one box inside of the other box inside of that box. And then there's a box over here inside of these boxes. And then there's a box over there and some walls, which equates to a box. And this is starting the master bathroom. And I'm fiddling with these boxes and trying to shove them over because I'm trying to make the grand room fit. I was going off of a plan that I found on the interwebs. I was trying to come up with something that is inspired by Spanish or Mediterranean style architecture with Salvadoradian bits thrown in there for good measure. And now we are building the garage, which is going to become more of a studio than a garage because, well, we don't actually have usable cars, so that can be a bit of a problem. I'm adding some interesting structural things here. I'm putting in a gate where the kitchen is going to be. And now you're going to see I'm using spandrels instead of um, archways because I wanted wider ones. I wanted things to span lengths of rooms and some of the rooms are at weird angles and now I'm using posts to make the corners turn into the more fancier ones. Also structural integrity. Now I'm fiddling around with this front courtyard and I've done a couple of weird fence things with this before I got to this part of it. And now I decided to go with the Santa Fe style because I think it looks so good and it works so nicely with the build itself. We'll get to terrain paint here in just a second. Now I'm trying to decide, hmm, we're going to put that in there and make a path. Now we are adding some terrain paint around the outside so I can have an idea of where I'm going to put gardeny bits. And you wonder how I decide structural landscaping. That's sometimes how I do it. Sometimes I lay out the beds first. And now I'm using some custom content. You'll see that I have some other doors and windows in there at the moment but I completely switched those out for this custom content stuff. I will leave the link to this pack of custom content in the description. I think these work really, really well with this build. I wasn't quite keen on the items that we had in the game itself, and I had some of these custom things, and I try very hard not to use it, even though I really like them uh, because I want to be able to make uploads for you guys but this one is for this game only um, our LP so I decided to use the custom so I can get a really good look on it and now back here I'm doing a lanai or what is sometimes known as a Florida room or a sun room but it's a large one now, you have to remember that Filet is a mermaid, and not everybody knows that she is a mermaid, and also the weather can be a little unpredictable, sometimes cold, sometimes hot. Mm, they wanted to put in a new pool, a saltwater pool, for Filet in here so that she can swim all year round, and we don't even know if their baby is going to be fish or human. So I figured we would cover all bases and besides who doesn't love a good pool, right? 
Now I'm back to using these custom content doors. I just really like the rounded corners on these in relation to the boxy look of the structure itself. I think it just kind of softens the edges of it and makes it a little bit more casual, a little homey. And now this is a growing family that we are playing. And, you know, she had this beautiful house built by Kaylee Creates from channel points that I redeemed on Kaylee's stream. And it's a beautiful house. I love that house so much. But it's really made for one person. I had to kind of finagle it to make it fit two people after they got married and after they started living together. But Filet has grown up and, you know, she's gone to school, she's gotten married, and now they have a baby on the way and they really need to find a place that has a bit more room. Now they're probably going to rent it out, to be honest with you, and then come back to it when they become empty nesters again and their children have left home to go on to their own lives. Now I'm fiddling with roofs. Roofs don't have to be so complicated as people think that they can be. I mean, I know that they can be a little mm, aggravating and overwhelming, but really, like anything else, just layers. Just layer them. Have fun with them. Put them in strange directions, use diagonal roofs, layer them different heights. Like this. And I think it looks pretty good. Now I keep fiddling around with the outside wall colors. Because I like the sandstone walls. And I like the color of it. I don't know if I like the fancier things or the Salvadoradian tiles out there. And I'm just adding a roof to the lanai. And I'm going to put uh, the glass texture on those um, when I go to put color on the roofs. See? And I'm going to make those glass because I want it to seem like it's outside but also protected at the same time. Now I'm just doing a little bit of stuff outside moving things around. There we go. I'm checking out different stucco designs. I really wish they had like a stucco that's a little bit more, I guess, dirty with maybe a little bit more moss on it. You know what I mean? And I'm going to start fiddling with the opening here and I'm using the spandrel trick again. I been doing that a lot because it allows me to customize space and entryways. It makes for an interesting point of egress, don't you think? Eventually I do the same thing out here because it's not a space with two or it has, it's a long one. And I really wanted to open that up because I think it looks a little too closed. And I'm going to go in here and put in some interior doors and start getting ready to um, make the inside pretty. Now there is a part two to this build in a separate video. I didn't want to make it too long. So in case you guys wanted to come back and check out the rest of it later on. This is only about 20 minutes. And that is when I do the landscaping. So if that interests you, you can go ahead and check out part two as soon as you're finished watching this one. Now we're still messing with boxes and adding doors and spandrels and archways. And now we're adding a nice... Uh, older wooden floor things and tiles, but I change those when I get to them. Um, Katie Lee does the same thing that I do and I kind of learned it from her. I just kind of sometimes build as I go 
and furnish as I go and using different things to remind me of what goes where if that is a bathroom or a bedroom or it's going to be a wet area and needs tile I will just throw in some random texture in there and I will probably change it when I get back to it. And I'm just adding light so I can really see I do change some of them uh, later on. Now it's time for furniture. Now we're working in the master bedroom. I'm going for like a really soothing light blue French yet island inspired design. A little French slash island chic. Is that a thing? I don't know. It is now. Surprise. Now these were supposed to be walk-in closets, his and hers, but I turned that into the cat room where Sammy can go have some alone time if he wants it. Sammy is their Bengal cat. Well, it's actually Filet's cat that she adopted before she even went off to university. She is so in love with that little cat. She wanted to give him his own room. Now, they aren't really sure, well, mostly Filet. She's not quite sure if she wants to move back to Solani or move at all. It's a whole thing. <laughs> so, I figured maybe if I build them a nice home, Filet will change her mind and Kenjo can tell her all about it. Now I'm just fiddling with some outs and ends. I want to put in some really cool curtains. I like these island ones. They're kind of sheer, but I just like how they look. Flowy and delicate, but also structurally sound, you know? They don't seem like they are too obtrusive and just kind of meld with the rest of the room. I'm shoving some plants in there, as you do. Well, as I do. Being the plant preacher, of course. I'm just switching things to a nice little greenish sea foam kind of a thing. Again, I'm fiddling with these curtains. I'm trying to find something. I actually looked up if Sims could walk through curtains. I might have to change that when I go into play. I have no idea. Because if they can't go through those doors, I'm going to have to take those down. I love that chaise. I want that chaise in my own house, for real. I've been looking for a cute chaise to replace my ratty sofa. But anyway. I digress. We're not talking about my own home decorating today, are we? No. You know, the greatest way to fill space is to remember that when in doubt, plants. But you can also add rugs and paintings and skulls. Mostly plants, though. You know how I feel about plants, right? Right? If you haven't by now, I love plants. I've been dubbed the plant preacher, and I swear one day we're going to have to build a cathedral of only plants. No structural walls. No rooms. Just plants. I can use furniture, though. I think that would be cool. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I love those little succulent hanger plant thingies. I put those above the window. I wish I had some of those. IRL. I want some different cafe curtains too. Maybe some ones that are a little bit longer. But I thought I would give them just a little bit of privacy over here. And I'm going to go out here and deal with some awnings to give a little bit more structural fun back here. Now I'm going to start doing stuff outside. 
I put similar looking lanterns that are really just the staked garden lamps and then I just shoved them back up and changed their color to something that kind of resembles what's on the gate. It looks really cute at night. Yeah, I'm working on this bathroom. I'm using some more custom content. This is the Sim Kia Pack by Illogical Sims. I will link that as well. All of the custom content packs that I'm using, I will make sure to list them in the description of this video and the next one, which is part two. So in case you are curious as to how well these kind of custom content things work with in-game things, and you want to get them, I want to make sure that you are able to do so. Now this will not be up on the gallery because of custom content. I don't know if there's a way for me to make this build available to you guys with a proper list of the custom content. I don't want to give the custom content out, that's not my job. I want you guys to be able to get to it from the creators themselves. I don't know. Leave me some ideas down below. How am I supposed to do that? Now I'm working on the baby's room. I started to put some more, you know, child and teenager stuff in there, but I realized it's an infant. It's not even born yet. We're just kind of preemptively building for the O'Fish family. So I realized right now we'll keep it simple and we will deal with the rest of it as the child ages. Now Kenjo and Flay are very excited about their baby. A little apprehensive. I mean, it's a scary time for everybody. It's a whole new thing, a whole completely different world than what they knew. But they're still super excited about it. I wonder what her father will say. I wonder if he'll ever write her back. Into the bathroom. This is the child's bathroom. I decided to go with custom content for this too because I think it fit the room better. So I've heard rumors that there may possibly be a country living type of pack, maybe? If so, does that interest you? Are you excited about that? And please do not sit there bad mouthing anyone or packs or the gurus or maxes down in the comments, I will be deleting those. Let's keep it friendly and kind here. My channel is a safe space. My comments are a space that is safe for people to discuss. So let's be civil. Just like my streams, we keep it civil. I'm not afraid to swing the band hammer. Now I'm back here working in the studio and since Kenjo is interested in archaeology and um, Flay is an artist but is also a teacher she had the office everyone can use the office um, but it was made specifically with her in mind in terms of work uh, and this studio area there's a section of it just for her I kind of separate them off here in a second with some really cute room dividers which I think are also custom content. Yeah, pretty sure. I just like how they look and it kind of separates it, but yet not at the same time. And I just started to shove some canvases and paintings out there to make it look like a worked or a workable 
space with everything that she could possibly need. And some fans to keep yourselves cool. I hope you enjoyed part one. Make sure you go and check out part two. Thank you guys so much for watching. May you be well, happy, and peaceful, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.